guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to talk about shoes and accessories, and I mean a lot of shoes and accessories. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. Fun fact, I was right in the middle of filming another Walmart fashion video when I decided to completely switch gears and talk about shoes. And here's why. Right now at my local Walmart, the fall and winter shoes are on extreme clearance. I found some amazing shoes that I can't wait to share with you. I also noticed that the spring and summer shoes are just starting to hit the shelves. And the best part is nearly every item that you see here is under $10. I think what I want to do is walk you through all of these pieces briefly. I'll let you know the current pricing, anything that I like about them, if there's something that I don't like about them, and then of course you will see these styled in head to toe looks in my next video. I want to kick things off by showing you one of my favorite finds from this particular trip to Walmart and it is this pair of combat boots. I have wanted to try a pair of combat boots for quite a while now, but honestly, I consider it to be a bit of a trend and I didn't want to pay a lot for them. So I was thrilled when I found these on the clearance rack at Walmart. These were originally $24.98 and I got them for $11. One of the things that impressed me about these is just how comfortable they are. These, out of all of the shoes that I'm about to share with you, probably have the most padding, even on the tongue of the boot. I love the silver tone hardware. Of course, you don't have to do any of those fussy closures. It does have a zipper to get on and off very easily. It has a nice little modest stacked heel, a good amount of tread so there's no slipping and sliding if you're on an icy surface. I love these so much and you'll see these styled a number of ways in my upcoming videos. As fun as I think the black combat boots are, I actually needed to replace my everyday black boots that I like to wear with boot cut jeans in particular. So naturally I was thrilled when I found a pair on the clearance rack. These are by the brand Time and True. I love the texture of these. These are a size nine. I can go anywhere from about an eight to a nine depending on the cut of the shoe. And because this has a little bit of a narrow toe, these worked perfectly for me and are very comfortable. These were originally $19.98. I got these on the clearance rack for $11 and they had quite a few of these. So if you like these, you might find them at your local Walmart. The size of the stacked heel is just perfect for me. It also has the side zip, and you can see as I turn this, the ring light is picking up a little bit of gloss. I love the texture of the faux snake print on this. Very happy with these. I also found the same boot in a true snakeskin print. I love this color combination. This is a brown and black. It has that same texture, the same sheen that you can see, a perfect blocked heel, these were originally $19.98 and I got these for $11. I am so happy to have these in my Walmart shoe collection. Now, as much as I love fun colors and patterns in footwear and in clothing in general, sometimes you need a more basic neutral tone to tie everything together. Even with this sweatshirt that I have on, I would really reach for a more neutral shoe. And that's why I was thrilled to find these faux suede booties. These are by the brand Time and True. You can see that they have a zipper detail, so they're very easy to get on and off. Again, you'll notice that these have a blocked stacked heel, and this is a modest height. I like a little bit of lift with shoes but I don't want to be teetering on high heels either. These were originally $14.98. These are a size 8 and I paid $12 for these. These are essentially the same as the leopard print booties that I showed in a previous video. I knew that they were comfortable so I snapped these up when I saw them. The next pair that I picked up is this fun snake print flat. You know that I have these in a high top version that I also got on clearance. I wanted these to take me more into spring and summer. These are also by the brand Time and True. These are a size eight. These were originally $14.97 and I got these for $9. My local Walmart had a ton of these and I'm not sure why that is because I think they are striking. I love the neutral top background, and then they have a little bit of soft gold and some gray and black. I find these to be very comfortable. They have memory foam on the inside. Love these so much. Speaking of the platform high top sneakers that I got in the snake print, 
I also found a neutral and I was so happy about this. These are by the brand Time and True. These are an eight wide because that's what they had. I don't actually have a wide foot, but I find with a pair of thick socks that these work out just fine. These were originally $19.98 and I paid $9 for them. These have working zippers on both sides. This will sound like a funny little thing, but I'm left-handed and sometimes things feel like they're on the wrong side. So I love the fact that the zippers are on both sides. I like the cream insole. Again, these have the memory foam, very well made and especially for $9. Next pair of shoes that I want to share with you, I have owned for two years and I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you these because they're very scuffy and very well worn. They are also very comfortable and very inexpensive. I want to say they were like $9.97. The reason I bring these up in this video is these are coming in again for this spring. The brand is AVIA. I guess it's pronounced Avia or Avia. These come in a number of colors. I have my eye on a pair that's kind of a khaki champagne color. I think you'll be seeing those in a future video. I just wanted to mention these because I get a lot of questions on these shoes when I show this in different try-ons. I was on the hunt for a new pair of summer slippers. We have hardwood floors. Well, technically it's stranded bamboo. It's a recycled situation. But at any rate, when the air conditioner is on, the floors can be cold on bare feet. And I wanted a pair in winter white. Now I did find two pair at Walmart and I can tell you that these I will be keeping and these I will be returning. So I want to tell you about each one. This pair is by Secret Treasures. They are only $9.97. They are very fluffy and cozy and soft. I love this ivory color. They have a good amount of cushioning and they also have a nice tread on the bottom, which is important to me because I don't know about you, but I will walk out to my mailbox or go into the basement with slippers on. And some slippers don't have a bottom like this and they can completely disintegrate if they get wet. So I always look for that feature in a slipper. This is the pair that I'm returning and this is why. I find that it is both a blessing and a curse just how padded these are. These are so padded that they kind of round off. And what I mean by that is when I step on them, my foot wants to either slide to the left or slide to the right. So I find that the other pair are more stable for me. Let me show you. This pair is also bunny rabbit soft. I love the slide in design. It has a nice tread so I can go out to my mailbox or I can go into the basement without trashing them. These do have a little bit of a rose gold hardware to them. It isn't functional, it's just a design element. But what I like about these in particular is the way the footbed is shaped. This slipper cradles my foot into the slipper. I never feel like I'm going to step out of it or fall off the side of it. So for this reason, these are my keepers. So let's talk about the Walmart spring and summer shoe selection. My local Walmart already has a ton of these shoes and I'm only going to be showing you the ones that I personally would wear. I like shoes that are comfortable and durable. I don't want to pay a fortune. And there are some styles that I know from previous years to avoid. For example, they make a lot of flats that almost feel like flocked cardboard to me. I'm not going to wear that shoe, so I'm not going to show it to you. I also personally am not a fan of little tiny straps with little tiny clasps. I just don't have the time, the patience, or the dexterity to deal with those when I'm putting on a pair of shoes. Every spring and summer season, Walmart comes out with some variations on this sneaker. I buy a few every year. These are great kick around shoes for me. Some of the things that I absolutely love about these is they are super lightweight. I'm not the biggest fan of heavy sneakers in general and especially in the summer. I also love the stretch at the back of the heel. I find that these never rub and I'm a big fan of not having to tie and untie laces. They come out with different colors every year and I have these in several colors already so I know that I already like them. My only complaint about these is that they are very flat. And I personally, although I don't wear high heels, I need a little bit of support 
in these shoes. Because these sneakers don't have quite enough padding and support for me personally, I easily fix that with a 98 cent solution. This cushioning comfort helps keep feet cool and dry and it's a slim fit so it doesn't add a lot of bulk. These say that they can be trimmed to fit anywhere from a size 5 to a size 10 and I fall right in the center there. So for 98 cents, I think it's well worth a try. Here's a close-up of the blue option. The next pair is this pretty pink paint splatter design. My friend Angela picked these up. If you are a pink girl or a pastel girl, you will probably find several outfits to wear these with. This pair really makes me think of spring and summer with the bright pop of coral. I also love how the lining has a little stripe to it. I know that nobody else will see that, but I just think that's a cute detail. And you can see on the back of the shoe that many of them have a little bit of embroidery detail. Now, if my friend Kayla is watching, I know that she will agree, yes, there is such a thing as summer animal print. I have these in a darker combination that is still an animal print, but these are perfect for summer, and they even have a little bit of lime green. It's very subtle. Love this print for summer. Out of all of the shoes that I just shared with you, the great clear and track finds that I found from booties that I can wear now to the incoming spring and summer shoes, there is one one pair of summer shoes that I personally think is going to sell out very quickly. So if these are your taste and you see them in Walmart in your size, grab them. And it is these slides by Time and True. These are $14.97, so a little bit on the higher end for a pair of slides from Walmart. I love this quilted top that's on the top of your foot. And a lot of times when you see this, it's quilted and comfortable on the top, which doesn't touch your foot, and it's cheap underneath. This has a good amount of padding where it's actually going to come in contact with your foot. I also really like this detail of the jute that goes all the way around. It makes it look like an espadrille. These have a tiny little heel, but they're not dead flat. They also have memory foam on the inside, and it's pretty cushiony. Now, a flat shoe like this is not going to have real arch support, but I found these to be very comfortable. And also, because this part is so well padded, my foot stays in it when I walk around. My feet are not ready for prime time right now, but you will see these shoes in a lot of try-ons in the future. This slide does also come in black, and interestingly, at my Walmart, there were already only two pair of the ivory left, which is another reason I think they're really going to sell out. And then they had a ton of the black ones. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got the winter blues and my soul is craving lightness and color. So even though I love the style of this shoe, like many other people, I did not pick up the black. I picked up the light one. If you can find this one either in store or online, I do highly recommend it. I also have several pieces of jewelry to share with you. I'm going to go through these rather quickly. You will see these in head to toe looks in my upcoming videos. I was on a kick with the color pink when I was at Walmart. I picked up these gorgeous earrings for $5.92. I love how this part looks like marble and then they're trimmed in this pretty blush. They are very lightweight and very comfortable. You may have noticed while watching this video that I'm wearing one of my all-time favorite Walmart bracelets. This is the oval hinged cuff. I have this in gold tone and silver tone and it has a little bit of sparkle with rhinestones. I just I just found this one that has the pretty pink sparkle to it. This one is $6.92 and I think it is gorgeous. Now, if my friend Carolyn from Carolyn and Her Clothes is watching, she's been looking for some filigree earrings. These are a silver tone. They are $2.88. These are extremely lightweight. They have a little bit of sparkle. I think the size is perfect and I love the silhouette of these. This pair is probably my favorite. These are $5.92. I love the shape and the fact that these are a two-tone. These are also lightweight on, very comfortable. I think they are so pretty. You can see them shimmering off of my ring light. These look very three-dimensional because the way they are cut out and I can't believe the quality for the price. 
I also picked up these pretty blush earrings. They almost look like a waterfall. Very sparkly, very lightweight. These were $5.92. The blush can read a little bit pink. I found that I could pair these with pink. They also are a perfect neutral, and you can see the sparkle there. These two are similar in color, but the style is completely different. Both of these are $5.92. I thought this layered necklace was so pretty. I like the hammered detail on the little medallion. It almost looks like a coin. And then it has that same pinkish blush that's in a couple of the earrings that I showed you. This one was $7.92. And I do want to point out that these necklaces are connected, so you can't wear them separately. But I think they look really pretty together. They do have a generous extender on the back and a substantial lobster claw clasp to be able to put this on and off very easily. I think this is so pretty. Speaking of necklaces, I have a confession to make about this particular necklace. I have owned this necklace for at least a year. I bought it last spring. I've shown this in countless videos. For whatever reason, I either knew and forgot or never realized that this is fully adjustable. So every time that you see this necklace, I'm wearing it as a pendant necklace. It has held up beautifully and it's one of my favorite pieces. Recently, I was fiddling around with it and big surprise, I realized I could have been showing this a number of ways. Let me show you how this works. If you take the two barrel clasps here, and I'm going to back up as I do this, and just pull in both directions, you can wear this necklace at every length from pendant clear up to the collarbone. So you can see how substantially I've shortened it so that it would fit like this. Here I have the necklace fully extended and then all you have to do is reach behind your neck and pull those two barrels and put it at any length you want. How brilliant is that? And I can't believe that I forgot about it. Speaking of Walmart spring and summer fashion, I want to take you into my usual filming area and give you a behind the scenes sneak peek at some of the videos that I'm working on right now. As you can see, I have a rack full of clothes, and this is my upcoming Walmart videos, two of them as a matter of fact. The first thing that you'll notice is some of my favorite Walmart jewelry pieces, which I always have on a stand. I use these in a lot of videos. You see these sunglasses in every outdoor shoot that I do. These are by the brand Preve Revo. I got these off of QVC. Super random side note, but I get a lot of questions about how I do my eyebrows. I have very sparse eyebrows at least half of the hair is gray and I also have that dreaded over plucked tadpole shaped naturally. I also have no real arch to speak of. If you ladies would like to see a video on how I do my eyebrows let me know in the comments down below. And then here is our sneak peek at all of the pieces that I'm currently filming for two upcoming Walmart videos. I love this graphic tee. I love the pattern on it. I love what this one says. These colors are really speaking to me. I've really been into tie-dye lately. In addition to the 2021 Pantone colors of the year, which are gray and a very vibrant yellow, I also saw a ton of what I'm going to call sorbet colors. So I picked up these pieces in this kind of dusty melon color. I love this long duster. I can't wait to show you that in a video. This is another top in a bright coral. Again, with the tie-dye, love it. This sweater is so cozy and soft and lightweight. Even though it looks like it would be a heavy winter sweater, it feels like nothing on. Love this one. I also picked up a couple of the camis that just hit the store with the adjustable straps. These are always a great value, and especially for layering. I picked up this fun boyfriend sweater in this pretty ivory. I love these relaxed fit sweatshirts. You've seen a couple of these in previous videos, and I needed something to go with the next couple of pieces, so I picked up another color. This piece piece came out of the juniors department. It has this fun tie ruche detail at the waist. You'll see all of these pieces in full detail in my upcoming videos. I really like this camo combination. Even though I don't usually buy no boundaries, I wanted to give these a try. I also really like the gray of these leggings. 
This sweater is by the brand Beach Lunch Lounge, and correct me if I'm wrong, but have I seen this exact brand in some of the really expensive subscription services for clothing? Let me know in the comments down below because I had never seen this particular brand at Walmart before. I also love the print of this particular camo and the color combination. I also needed a new pair of cropped denim for all of my upcoming spring videos, so I picked up this pair by Time and True. These are a straight cut which is very on trend. These are a mid-rise with a relaxed fit. This is where I keep all of the belts and scarves that I want to use for styling when I'm doing a video. I absolutely love this cream colored fringe scarf from a couple of videos ago and I have shown these booties before. I got both of these on clearance. I love them, I wear them, and I intend to style them with some of these pieces as well. Just because I'm literally standing in front of a mirror, I might as well show you my outfit of the day, right? This ombre sweatshirt that I have on, I picked up off of a clearance rack years ago. I don't even remember where I got it. Guess which jeans I have on? You guessed it, Walmart Time and True skinny jeans. And since I'm not leaving the house because I'm going to be filming all day, I have on my new favorite pair of slippers from Walmart. These are under $15. I love these so much. Just while I'm standing here, you'll notice that behind me is the area that I shoot a lot of my videos. I will typically film in this area if it is a cloudy or rainy day because the white background really brightens up the videos and I think that it also makes it easier for you to see some of the detail. Now we're going out into the hallway. If you're curious about any of the equipment that I use to film YouTube videos, I do have them all linked in my Amazon storefront. I will put a link to my Amazon storefront down below. I also have some of my favorite clothing and beauty items listed there so you might want to check it out. Now we're going back to my master bedroom and this is where I'm filming the current video, the one that you're watching. So you can see that I have a ring light set up. I'm using a lot of natural light from the sliding glass doors. This end of the deck is where I film a lot of try-ons. Now if you've been watching my videos for a while now, first and foremost thank you. You will notice that I frequently do try-ons in front of lush tropical looking greenery. Well, winter has come to New Jersey and this is what it looks like now. Everything on our deck is pretty much going dormant. We still have the green from the grass and some of the evergreen trees. Speaking of, <clears throat> I just spit all over. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> These have warping zippers. <laughs> warp, warp. <laughs> These have working zippers. <laughs> I don't know why, but when I get it right, it makes me laugh more. Okay. This one has a little bit of gold. Oh, does it do anything? Now we're in my hallway, so my living room is... If you would like to see even more affordable fashion videos like this, be sure and give this video a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button down below.